from Indy Streaming News Leader. This is a WRTV update. Well, good afternoon. I'm Kelsey Anderson with your top stories. An overnight shootout in Broad Ripple is under investigation, and it comes as the community will gather to address safety in the popular Indianapolis neighborhood. Metro police are expected to announce new safety initiatives tonight at a town hall taking place between law enforcement and the Broad Ripple Village Association. The village has seen a spike in gun violence over the last year. During tonight's meeting, Metro Police will take questions and comments from you. That meeting runs from 6 to 7.30 p.m. at the Indianapolis Art Center Auditorium. And a new report shows fewer high school graduates are even going to college in the first place. The Indiana Commission for Higher Education says only 53% of high school graduates in the class of 2020 pursued education beyond high school. And this chart from the report shows that the college going rate for black Hoosiers has fallen the most over the five year period between 2015 and 2020. That rate is also below 50% for Hispanic and Latino Hoosiers. Also, the number of women who are getting a post high school education continues to be higher than the number of men doing so. And as you can see by this chart, that gap is widening. In 2020, only 46% of male Hoosiers sought to get an education past a high school diploma. Todd. All right, heat advisory in place for the area throughout the afternoon and into the evening hours for high temperatures today. That'll be topping off anywhere between about 90 uh, to 94 degrees across the area. You factor in the humidity, which is really, really high, and it's going to feel closer to 100 degrees here throughout the afternoon hours. There's also the chance of some spotty storms today, mainly north of Indianapolis. And the main threat with some of these storms as they make their way into the area would be some damaging wind, and that should be just about it. And then overnight tonight, the shower threat comes out. Still slight risk across parts of central Indiana, but northeast Indiana now under the enhanced risk of severe weather from the Storm Prediction Center. All right, thanks, Todd. Well, for more stories and weather you need to know, download the WRTV mobile app. Thanks for joining us.